A man-to-man -man war game is a war game in which units generally represent single individuals or weapons systems, and are rated not only on weaponry, but may also be rated on such facets as morale, perception, skill at arms, etc. The game is designed so that a knowledge of military tactics, especially at the small unit or squad level, will facilitate successful gameplay. Man-to-man -man war games offer an extreme challenge to the designer, as fewer variables or characteristics inherent in the units being simulated are directly quantifiable. Modern commercial board wargaming stayed away from man-to-man -man subjects for many years. Though once the initial attempts were made to address the subject, it has evolved into a popular topic among wargamers. Man-to-man -man war games have been a popular pastime for PC and console gamers, though, true, man-to-man -man combat simulators are much more rare than action-adventure-oriented first-person shooters which can probably be excluded from the topic of man-to-man -man war games. Early role-playing games were derived from skirmish war games, and many are still played as such. Many early designs for man-to-man -man games had cumbersome pre-plotting of moves. Others used a system of multiple maps and umpires to try and create fog of war or uncertainty for players. Modeling conflict at this scale provides unique challenges to the game designer who must find a way to quantify variables such as human behavior at an individual level. Games at higher levels can arguably have their variables more easily quantified. List of war games. Below is a list of man-to-man -man war games in the order in which they were introduced. Western Gunfight War Game Rules 1st ed. Western Gunfight War Game Rules 2nd ed. Colonial Skirmish War Games Rules C1850-1900. Sniper. Old West Skirmish Rules 1816-1900, 1974. Skirmish War Gaming. Old West Skirmish Rules 1816-1900, Used, 1975. Old West Skirmish Rules 1816-1900 Parts 1 and 2 Revised Ed, 1978. Once Upon a Time in the West. Rules for Gunfight War Games. Flintlock and Ramrod 1700-1850 Skirmish War Games Rules, 1980. 20th Century Skirmish War Games Rules Volume 1 Rules, Volume 2 Supplement, Volume 3 Tables and Charts, 1981. Hetzer, Special Forces, Patrol, City Fight, Trench Foot, Cry Havoc, Siege, Outremer, Viking Raiders, Samurai Blades, Dark Blades, Dragon Noir 2 The Challenge, Up Front, Banzai, Desert War, Gunslinger, Close Assault, Ambush, Move Out, Purple Heart, Silver Star, Firepower, Battle Cry, Battle Hymn, Leatherneck, Platoon, Soldiers, Iron Cross, Shell Shock, Special Forces, a vassal-only card game also available as a .pdf download. Song of Blades and Heroes, Whack and Slaughter, Skirmish Tactics Apocalypse. Some of these games represent further development of earlier titles, for example Firepower is a modern set version of Close Assault, which is set in World War II, both from the same designer, Ambush is an innovative solitaire game based on a system of paragraph readings and a sleeve and card system that reveals data about the game environment as the player navigates his soldiers over the map. Set in the European theater of operations in WW2, it spawned three sequels as well as a second series of games set in the Pacific as well as a two-player version. Upfront is a man-to-man -man game but its board was abstracted with the concept of relative range and range chits. The game was driven by cards, with individual soldiers represented by cards laid on a playing surface. Firepower was arguably the most detailed man-to-man -man treatment. There were, for example, arrow counters to indicate which side of a tree a soldier might be lying behind, miniature figurines and miniature scenery manufacturers, junior miniatures, Peter Pig, miniature building authority, Deimos Design Studio, Battle Stations, Brigade Medals, 
Combat Wombat, Critical Mass Games, DLD Productions, Eureka Miniatures, Force 21 Miniatures, GZG, Highlander Studios, Hoff, Irregular Miniatures, Kurasan Miniatures, Kremlin Miniatures, Laserburn, LKM Direct, Moonfleet Miniatures, Old Crow Models, Pendraken Miniatures, Pearl Bitway, Rebel Miniatures, Splintered Light Miniatures, Spriggan Miniatures, Stan Johansson Miniatures, Team Frog, The Scene, Tiny War Games, Top Gun Marketing, Zombie Smith Owen Qua, Computer Games, True, Man to Man, Games on the Computer are rare, unless one counts first person shooters. Most FPS games, such as Medal of Honor or Call of Duty, are not realistic simulations mainly due to the maze-like environment, scripted storyline, and unrealistic casualty assessment. The focus of these games is individual action-adventure rather than simulation in a dynamic tactical environment. More realistic man-to-man -man shooters for the computer are known as tactical shooters. An example is Operation Flashpoint. Cold War Crisis, OFP and its sequels allow the player to give limited tactical commands to an entire squad of men while still engaged in a first-person perspective, and in online play several dozen players could take on individual personas in various small unit missions. Fatal and non-fatal wounds to the player's character were realistically implemented, while storylines were still heavily scripted for solo play. This actually increased the level of realism in the simulation. Third-person man-to-man games have not been successfully translated to the computer in any large numbers. They include third-person shooters and tactical role-playing games. Notable examples of third-person man-to-man games on the computer include Sniper, a computer version of the board game found on CompuServe, Avalon Hills Squad Leader based on Soldiers at War, Jagged Alliance, and XCOM. This was a man-to-man -man game with true fidelity to man-to-man -man board war gaming being turn-based. It was not well received commercially or critically. Silent Storm, Geek Combat, Eric Young's Squad Assault, a rework of the unsuccessful Geek Combat by the same developer. Computer Ambush, the game came with two laminated village maps for players to plot moves on. Each unit was a single soldier. Players would take turns giving their soldiers orders. Then the computer would process the moves and display the results to each player before they could enter their next set of orders.